The MacBook Pro is a great piece of hardware, but it can be even better with the right docking station. These sleek pads expand the number of ports on your MacBook, such as DisplayPort and USB, and even bolster its battery life. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and here are our picks for the best docking stations for MacBook Pro 2019. Laptops are great for taking desktop class computing power on the go. They make life easier as you get to take what you need wherever you go. When you're back at home, the lack of legacy ports on 2016 and later MacBook Pros is, however, a bit of an issue. Apple removed all legacy ports from all these MacBook Pros. Connecting any device to any MacBook Pro with a touch bar now requires a properly equipped peripheral or dongle. USB-C based peripherals aren't very common yet and dongles make computing messy and complicated. Displays, actually multiple displays, are a particularly large problem. The best way to solve this is with a docking station. So, here are some of the best docking stations to address not only the need for legacy ports and reduced USB-C dongles, but also the need to attach multiple displays to your MacBook Pro. Line Dock with a sleek svelte design made to tuck neatly under your MacBook Pro, the Line Dock is almost certainly the best looking option in this list. In fact, it's so low profile that it almost looks like it could have been designed by Apple itself. The Line Dock is designed for the 13 inch MacBook Pro. There are three USB C ports, including USB 3.1, full power delivery 2.0, and DisplayPort. Add to that another three USB 3.0 ports with Qualcomm Quick Charge and you're well catered for on the USB front. There's also an SD card reader, an HDMI 2 port and a mini display port. The display ports support displays at up to 4K resolutions at 60Hz. The build quality is quite impressive and that the designers have managed to squeeze a 20,000 milliamp hour battery into this 0.9 cm thin chassis. It weighs just two pounds too, so will neither encumber you or stretch your MacBook sleeve if you pack the two together. One thing you need to be wary of if you do is scratching your MacBook Pro. One of the neat design touches also is a little U-shaped dongle that connects the line dock with the MacBook Pro, negating the need for a tangly unsightly cable. Neat in every sense of the word. Landing Zone USB-C Dock The Landing Zone USB-C Dock for MacBook Pro with Touch Bar is a non-Thunderbolt based dock with a USB-C pass-through. So the pass-through works with Thunderbolt accessories. This dock is meant for 15-inch MacBook Pros only and won't work with Windows machines. On the port side, the device has one dual HDMI slash mini display port, you can use one or the other, and a second HDMI port to allow you to use at least two monitors. It also has one SD and one micro SD card slot, three USB-C ports, data only, no video support, three USB 3.1 type A ports and a gigabit ethernet port. This dock is one of the few with dual display connections. You can connect at least two displays directly to the dock. You can also connect a third by a pass-through on the right-hand side of the dock. This is probably the best feature of the dock. On build quality, the device is made of plastic and unfortunately feels a little bit cheap. Docking is done by manually inserting both USB-C ports on the left side of your MacBook Pro into the available adapters on the dock and then sliding the audio jack and third USB-C adapter into the ports on your Mac's right side. The process slides adapters into three of four USB-C ports and effectively squeezes the dock together. The dock has a dedicated release lever to assess with undocking. This manual squeezing together is somewhat problematic. Things don't always line up right and don't always sit well together and the ports don't always activate. Sometimes you need to sit and reset the cables repeatedly and ensure that everything fits tightly. Of all the docks in this roundup, this dock provides the right mix of legacy ports and display support. It also provides the best overall mix of features to cost, but lacks Thunderbolt 3 support. The landing zone docking station for MacBook Pro with Touch Bar sold for $299. OWC Thunderbolt 3 Dock OWC has always produced quality products and OWC Thunderbolt 3 Dock is one of my favourite Thunderbolt docks. On the build quality, this is by far one of the best built docks I've ever laid my hands on. It's solid, well built and easy to use. Coming in two versions, one with Firewire 800 support and one without, the dock works with both Mac and Windows machines. On the ports side, this dock has 13 different legacy ports, including five USB-A 3.1 ports, one Firewire 800 port, Gigabit Ethernet, two TB3 ports, one mini display port, one SD card reader, and one audio output port. 
You can connect multiple displays to this device via the mini display port and a TB3 port. However, however, unless that display is also a TB display, you're going to have issues daisy chaining any additional devices to it, so be aware. And also, USB-A ports don't offer Thunderbolt capability. The only issue I have with it is a lack of an additional Thunderbolt port or two, so I can easily connect more than one display without having to worry about additional connectivity or daisy chaining devices. While five USB-A ports does help alleviate this, it may still be a concern for some. The OWC TB3 port retails for $379. However, if you don't need Firewire support, you can pick up the Mac slash Windows version for just $289. Kensington SD5200T Thunderbolt 3 Docking Station The Kensington SD5300T TB3 Docking Station it's very hard to say, is another cross-platform dock supporting both Mac OS and Windows 10 that provides support for a single 5K monitor or for dual 4K displays at 60Hz. As an added bonus to the whole package, the dock can be mounted to the back of any Visa-compatible external display via a mounting plate sold separately, allowing for a cleaner, less cluttered desk. Like the OWC dock, the build quality of the Kensington SD5200T is wrapped in both plastic and brushed metal. It connects to your TB3 enabled Mac via a TB3 cable on the rear of the dock. It also supports 85 watt charging so it will power your device while it's plugged in. OK ports. The device has a single 15 watt power providing USB-A and USB-C slash TB3 ports on the front of the device. On the rear of the dock it has a gigabit ethernet port, USB-A 3.1 port, audio in and out ports, support for Kensington lock, one TB3 port, one TB3 in port, a display port and a DC in. While the connectivity here isn't great it does get the job done and does support both 5K and 4K displays. The Kensington Docking Station retails for $329.99 and at this price it's one of the most expensive docks in this roundup. However, it is available by Amazon at a 20% premium for just $262.99 at time of writing. StarTech.com Mini Thunderbolt 3 Dock If what you're looking for is multiple display support out of a Thunderbolt 3 Dock, StarTech.com Mini Thunderbolt 3 Dock is the dock for you. It supports dual display port connections as well as providing some additional legacy ports. With its cable attached, it really looks like an oversized dongle, but it's also the most affordable dock in this roundup. The build quality, while this is mostly made of plastic like the other docks in this roundup, it's small and compact and easily fits on your desk. It has no moving parts. Its size makes it easy to take with you should you need to connect to displays outside of your home office. On the port side, while this dock makes it easy to connect more than one display, it contains only four ports in total. Two DisplayPort ports with support for dual 4K 60Hz displays or a single 5K 60Hz display, a USB 3 port and a gigabit Ethernet port. The dock doesn't need any kind of external power source, it's bus powered so all you have to do is plug in the USB-C into your Mac and you're good to go. This is nice but it creates issues. Without external power it can't support additional ports and you won't be able to daisy chain additional devices through it. If your only concern is connecting more than one monitor to your MacBook Pro then this is one of the more affordable ways to do it. As for example the 15 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar supports up to four simultaneous 4K displays. Buying two would get all of those displays connected and still be cheaper than any other of the docks in this roundup. Wavlink USB 3 and USB-C Ultra HD 5K Universal Docking Station. <laughs> okay, that was a mouthful as well. Connectivity is key with the docking station, meaning Wavlink Universal Docking Station could be the dock you want and need if you're looking to set up a dual display system. The build quality is really good. The Wavlink has an all aluminium chassis encased in metal. It is likely to have the best housing of any dock in this roundup. This is by far one of the best, if not the best, constructed dock I've seen in a while. On the port side, the Wavlink has 14 ports. It has two USB-C ports, three USB-A Type 3 ports, one gigabit Ethernet port, one DVI port, one 4K HDMI port, one audio in and out port, and one USB-C in port. Okay, there you have it. Finding the right dock for you is a matter of hit or miss, especially when it comes to the number and types of ports you need. When it comes to connecting multiple monitors, the better solutions don't have you giving up a Thunderbolt port for display purposes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comments section below.
Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.